So, exaggeration is par for the course in fantasy games in general, but few make me scratch my head as much as this one. Let me introduce you to Dragoon Might. This is an arcade game made by Konami that came out in 1995. Iron Fighting looks very Samurai Showdown-esque. It's got some really cool design features. Like for example, you just saw Reggie hang on the pipe up there. So there are several hang points that you can use and you can also cut those down to make them unavailable. Graphics are really nice, especially for the time. It's not HD obviously, but very well put together. Okay, there's Layla with her dual tonfas. She has an interesting move up her sleeve, which is this. The tonfa suddenly extends, and um, is it just me, or does she say throwing the sofa? So I looked up her move list, and apparently that one is simply called baton whip. I can't help it, all I'm hearing is throwing the sofa. Throwing the tonfa would make sense, but I don't think that's what she says. Anyway, so not only does the apparently solid tonfa extend into multiple segments, it also gets a blade where there was none before. So I don't know how she crams all of that into this weapon. And here's a throw that nobody would mind being on the receiving end of. I sure wouldn't. As is typical for arcade games, this one is hard because it's supposed to eat up all your quarters as you try to figure out the moves even and, you know, get halfway decent at it. How about the ninja with the wild blue hair who fights with a claw and a three-quarter chakram or something? So that in and of itself isn't too crazy, but what he does with it. So for one, he has a spectacular pro wrestling ninja throw. That was really common in the 90s. Like, I'll... Almost every ninja in fighting games had some variety of this. And the circular blade also has a trick to it. It's apparently attached to a chain that he can extend scorpion style outward. He also has a scroll. What's he gonna do with it? Beat him over the head? Uh-uh. That's what he's gonna do. He's launching fire from his magical scroll. I also like the mechanic that you can make them drop their weapon if you keep attacking them while they block. By the way, some people seem to think that I'm just all about the realism and don't like fantasy, which is really strange to me. But I also enjoy overanalyzing things deliberately for fun. What I do enjoy on the one hand is a certain amount of realism, but on the other hand, I can also appreciate when they go all out, balls to the wall, let's just make this extra over the top. So the trope of the scrawny kid using a gigantic sword is pretty common. In this case, it also comes with 90s style sneakers and skating pads. But uh, he has some particularly strange ways of using the sword. Pretty funky, but here it comes. He serves his sword. He is surfing on his giant paddle sword. I have never seen that anywhere else. This weird move right here seems tame compared to sword surfing. And you know what the funniest thing is? I can kind of buy it. Because by the way the sword moves, it seems that he's using it telekinetically. Or maybe the sword has kind of a will of, of its own and can move. And that would also compensate for the strength deficit and also body weight deficit, by the way, required to wield such a gigantic metal sword. I don't know what this game's deal is with chains, but the developers clearly love weapons on chains. Like half the weapons are on chains and can be launched out that way. Um, I'm assuming this is probably gameplay balance. They, they wanted to give everybody a long range attack of some sort. So the this guy here with his priest staff, he can shoot magic lightning across the screen and others just have extendable weapons to make up for that. She can also electrify them to stun them. So the, the spiky fans in and of themselves are pretty weird, but then you put them at the end of a chain and 
things get wild. Then there's Jo, aka Super Shredder, who has a pretty interesting weapon. It's basically a buckler with a blade attached to it. And yeah, he does a spinning whirlwind of death. Of course, why wouldn't he in this game? So this weapon actually would be pretty realistic, especially if he actually used another main weapon. He seems to be using this on his left hand, at least if he's on the left side, he has it on the left arm, they're just mirrored on the other side. So this in and of itself would be a, a perfectly practical, realistic weapon. More of an offhand parrying weapon sort of deal, but I quite like this. But of course, they had to make it crazy because guess what? It also comes on a chain. So he uses it like a spinning yo-yo of death. Of course. Of course, you should just expect it at this point. And here's Drake who uses a spear, or really more of a speedum. Very down-to-earth, practical, simple weapon, right? Not in this game, because of course it extends. Why wouldn't it? Everything extends here. But this is when the game gets you. Just when you thought you had a grasp on how crazy Dragoon Might is, it one-ups it. It doesn't only extend, it also starts to wiggle around and kind of snake attack the opponent. I have no idea what's going on. I, I just... This is probably the longest reaching non-projectile attack I've ever seen in any 2D fighting game. Then there is Kodama who apparently chose to go full badass by looking at everybody with all their weapons and just being like, you know what? I'm fine. I've got my steel bracers. So he does not have all the reach. He actually has a lot of grappling techniques. So he just charges in, smacks your head against the side of the screen and then knocks you down on, on the ground. What really concerns me here is that not only does he have basically no reach compared to everybody else with their weapons, he also has exposed hands. So if you try to fight with just bracers in real life, Everybody would snipe the hell out of your hands. They would get caught up immediately because that's just exposed and your hands are usually forward because you want to protect your body, of course. So if you try to parry something with the bracer, it's not that hard for the opponent to just to simply adjust and cut your hand instead. So this would be a really bad time. But of course, here it works because the game is crazy. And just like in Samurai Showdown, here there's also a guy who fights with giant prayer beads. Don't ask me about the practicality of prayer beads in a real life fight, please. That should be obvious. <laughs> but he also spits um, magic projectiles. I'm sure he'll be fine. So having seen all that, are you ready for the most insane character in the entire game? Even more ludicrous than everything else? There he is. A monkey dude with blades strapped to his feet. Yeah. He walks on them, kicks with them, and does other strange things. Of course, he has a Blanca attack. Why wouldn't he? Of course, he turns into a spinning ball of death. That's kind of a, a general theme here. Even a skinny schoolboy surfing an oversized sword can't quite touch monkey dude with blade sandals. I, I've never seen anything cl even close to this. So yeah, that's the insanity of Dragoon Might. Really good game, by the way, might I add. The mechanics are solid, nice graphics, good animations. And you just have to applaud the creativity here. There's even some stuff you can easily miss. For example, Reggie has a jumping attack where he puts the knife in his mouth and headbutts them. I actually missed this at first. I didn't notice it during the gameplay. When editing the video, I was like, wait a moment, he does what? <laughs> so they were really creative with this one. All kinds of absolutely ludicrous, outrageous attacks and, and weapon combinations and all the yo-yos of death and it's it's wild. If you have a chance, try it out. It's, it's hilarious. And the game doesn't take itself seriously at all. So this is the kind of 
crazy over-the-top fantasy stuff, I can appreciate. I definitely prefer that over a game that presents itself as historical and then has Vikings with horned helmets fighting Anglo-Saxons in full plate armor or stuff like that. So, um, yeah, Dragoon Might. Crazy shit. Thanks for watching and have a good one, folks. Thank you.